In this session, we're going to talk about cloud native and why it's become an important part of the HCL software strategy. And we're also going to talk about some of the associated technologies like Docker and Kubernetes and do a bit of a deep dive on those. Um, but before getting too much further, it's probably worth talking about what we mean by cloud native. Um, if you go out and search for definitions, you'll find plenty of them. Uh, but one group that we're paying close attention to is the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Uh, they're an open source foundation dedicated to the promotion of cloud native best practices and fostering an ecosystem of open source and vendor neutral tools. Um, and you'll notice here that their definition doesn't mention any tools by name, uh, instead focuses on the benefits. Um, they say cloud native is about building scalable applications that can run in any cloud. Um, and they do talk about some of the components and architectural decisions like containers and microservices and good API observability and so on. Um, but they do try to stay neutral um, on, on the tooling front. So we have tried to distill cloud native down into a set of actionable focus areas for our entire software division. Um, at a high level, we're saying cloud native applications generally follow a microservice based architecture. They're containerized and they run in a container orchestration platform like Kubernetes. Um, but also important to us are some of the development and release best practices associated with cloud native. Uh, like DevOps, true continuous delivery, robust automation, um, and so on. And so, you know, why is all this important to us? Well, it seems like every customer we talk to these days is already on a cloud native journey or just about to start one. Um, O'Reilly did a study last year. You can see some of the numbers here uh, down in the bottom right. Um, you can see only about 25% of the respondents said they had no plans to adopt a cloud native infrastructure. And of the remaining folks, most plan to adopt uh, cloud native infrastructure in three years or less. So we wanna make sure that our large and growing portfolio of software is gonna fit seamlessly into these environments. So as we dig, dig a bit deeper, we tried to enumerate some of the benefits to our customers that we hope to realize as we progress on this journey. We won't go through them all, uh, but some of these should seem obvious. Uh, the ability to run our software on any cloud, uh, continuous delivery to enable fixes and function to be available much more quickly, um, taking advantage of some of the scaling and self-healing capabilities that are built into Kubernetes and so on. But in general, we're striving to make HCL software as easy to install and operate in these environments as possible. So while our customers have been on their own cloud native journeys. We've been on our own for the last couple of years. Um, you know, starting on this journey can be daunting because it's not clear where to start. It's not, it's not clear what the right things to focus on are and, and so on. So again, back to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, they try to help with something they call the trail map. It's a set of 10 things that you should be looking at if you wanna take full advantage of cloud native. And they are not at all suggesting that teams need to focus on all of these at the outset. Um, this is more of a tool to make sure you're on a good path strategically. So, but the first step really is about containerization. And this is where just about everyone starts. Um, in fact, many teams we talk to um, will talk about how their own cloud native journey didn't start as some big executive mandate, but rather as some curious developers trying out Docker and Kubernetes and it kind of grows or organically from there. So we won't go through all 10 of these, but you know they cover best practices like CI, CD, and also capabilities that you need to build into your applications, um, like observability, which is monitoring and tracing. Um, and we're really using this trail map more as a maturity model to help gauge where we are and also make sure that we're thinking about the right things and, and help us think about what we should be uh, focusing on next. So for our own teams in HCL, we wanted to make this as simple as possible. So the three-step approach on this page actually comes from the work that we do every day with our product teams to help take them from monolithic legacy applications towards a cloud-native approach. It, it always starts with containerization. Um, even huge monolithic applications can be containerized. And just doing that with actually no other changes or refactoring can be a big win if it means all of a sudden you can now quickly stand up that big monolithic application in all the cloud platforms easily. Um, 
And, you know, of course, where we can, we're looking to help products refactor into more of a microservice based model. But at the same time, we're also realistic and we want to get these quick wins so that cloud native is not seen as some unattainable goal, especially for products that are, as I said, big and monolithic. Um, but once you've containerized, the next step really is orchestration, which is about making sure the containers that make up an application can actually be run in Kubernetes. Um, and again, here it's mostly about getting products just working in Kubernetes. It's not about trying to adopt all of the best of breed tools and processes on day one. The third step is where uh, it's what we call cloud native maturity, and that and that's where um, we expect teams to have spent time investigating what those best of breed tools and approaches approaches are for things like monitoring or scaling or upgrade and build those into their uh, applications. So actually, all of this has led to a scorecard of sorts that's being used in the HCL software division to ensure that the cloud native evolution is on every product's roadmap. So based on where each product is on their own uh, cloud native journey, they can sort of judge what level they're at and get an action plan that will help take them to the next level uh, in their upcoming releases.